I made a lot of friends in the industry, like a lot of other designers and other streetwear designers and fashion designers. And we all kind of have the same complaint about like, oh man, this store's so annoying to deal with and like their staff does this and the displays suck and like, you know, so I kept hearing the same thing. I had the same frustration and then I was like, you know what? I think I can open a store that makes me happy and makes all of my friends that have brands happy too. And at the very least, I know I'll have me and my six or seven friends in there and then I want to put in other stuff that inspire me. So I'm not just inspired by fashion. In fact, I'm probably least inspired by fashion. Fashion is the way I communicate and the way I execute, but I'm inspired by so many other things. So why don't I put all those things that inspire me into the space too, so that when a customer comes in, he can kind of see like, oh, that's the music he listened to and the magazine he read and the book he read and the artwork he looks at in order to create this t-shirt mm -hmm. or this button down shirt. So they can kind of see the whole process. You know? Interiors? Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, to me a designer, um, just a designer, regardless of whether you're a fashion, web, graphic, you know, interior, product, lighting, whatever. To me a designer, you're just, you're communicating an idea and a feeling. So when you walk into a space, um, everything has an effect on the feeling that you have color, smell, sound, paint, you know, like touch, fabrication, everything affects it. And most people who are not designers, when they walk into a space, um, they like it or they hate it, but they can't articulate why. That's if you're not a designer. Mm -hmm. If you're a good designer, you should be able to be like, it's because it's four degrees too hot in here and the sound is a little bit too loud and it smells a little bit weird. That's why it's weird in this place. And then you could try to fix that. So I, I don't try to consider myself like, oh, I, I interior designed Reed Space, so hence I'm an interior designer. No, mm -hmm. I, I, just, I just know what makes things feel right. When I go into a restaurant, it's the same thing. You know, like, man, the food is awesome here, but why are they playing this music at this level? You know, like if they just tweak that a little bit, it'd be so much better. So like that doesn't uh, doesn't make me a music designer it just makes me someone who understands spatial experience where you got the idea of the chair and the chairs in the wall uh, it goes back to the education theme so they're children's chairs you know and I wanted when I designed the space I wanted it to feel like you're going back to school so there's a lot of touches that are like school inspired so the chairs is one thing um, the clothes are hanging on like a, like a monkey bar system that kids play on um, the floor is the exact same flooring, um, wood and shade that was from my library in my school. Um, and then like, you know, when you pay, uh, this was before in the first phase of the store, but when you paid, our, our employees were standing on a platform, like maybe this high off the ground. So when you're signing your bill, you're sort of like up high, like you feel like a little kid, you know? Yeah. So just little touches like that um, made it feel like a school. And so the school chairs, we, we did an entire wall of school chairs. That's where all our books were displayed on. So, you know, student, school chairs, and then books kind of all came together. And actually, that wasn't even my idea for having it be the icon for the space, but whenever someone said read space, they're like, oh, the store with the chairs on the wall. Like, it became our icon. So then I decided to make it our logo. The little chair is like our logo.